Hi everyone, my name's Katrina and I'm from Small Revolution. We have hundreds of processes that will help you to build an e-commerce store on your own or with a team, so you can check us out at smallrevolution.com. What I want to talk to you about now is I just want to show you some really creative ways for doing uh, product photos. You don't have to have a big budget. In fact, we've got a step-by-step -step guide that shows you how to set up your own studio at home to take photos of your products. But in this screencast, I just want to give you a few ideas for what you can do and still uh, remain on a budget. Now, this is uh, Gazelle, and this is a very important piece, uh, a very important photo here. The lighting's just right. This has probably got lighting just from a window. Uh, it's very natural lighting, so they haven't used studio lights. But you can see that you know they do have the standard photo of the products uh, as you go through, you know, front side, inside. It's very important to get a photo inside things if you can. But the last photo is the aspirational piece. This is the aspirational. Wow, look how comfy that bed looks. It's so. Uh, it looks like cotton. It looks like a really comfy place to sleep. I'd love to go away for a weekend. So my only criticism with this is that um, you know they haven't ironed the sheets. There's a few things uh, that they could have done to add a little bit more detail to these photos and possibly made these photos larger. But the point is they've shown the product in situ. They've shown the product uh, what your weekend could look like. So I think that's a great idea. Uh, so don't forget to do that sort of thing with your products as well. Uh, here's some photos by Mass Design, and I'll give you the links to this in the um, article, but you can see the actual pictures. So these are obviously uh, precision, precision cut uh, iPhone cases, but they've also shown you the packaging, and so it shows you that this is really a premium product. So if you've got terrific packaging for your products, if there's a special way you wrap them or somehow send them to your customers, Try and show what that is because it adds to that. It adds to that uh, the, the the story that you're selling to them. It makes it a, a premium looking uh, offer that they're going to get. Okay, this one's uh, one of my favourites. These guys have used their e-commerce cart in such a way to mimic a real store, and so each of these shoes is sitting on its own little shelf. Now, this is some pretty serious custom. Uh, templating here but it shows you what is possible uh, with carts and I love this little sold sign here to say look you know we're an active store we've got product that's actually been selling as well so if you've got an extra budget if you've got some really clever designers uh, graphic designers and web developers then you can make uh, a beautiful experience in your e-commerce store and a beautiful experience in your e-commerce store is particularly important if you're selling fashion, fashion items or things that people don't necessarily need but want. So this is a really great way of presenting these products. I'll just show you through to the uh, actual product page and you can see how it's presented in this way as well. So there's a lot of Photoshop work on there. They've spent a lot of money on their uh, product photography but it really shows. Here's another idea. When you're trying to sell a product, sometimes it's useful to do a comparison. So these guys sell uh, essentially glass bottles, uh, but you can see here, so this is a Snapple bottle, and this is their bottle. So they're showing you by way of comparison to uh, perhaps another competitor product. So rather than, I think what they're saying is, rather than buying Snapple, which is just juice in a bottle, lots of sugar in a bottle, uh, what, and people then reuse those bottles. They're saying to you, um, if you buy our bottle with, you know, get tap water in it, then it's thicker and sturdier, and it's uh, again, it's got that premium aspect to it. So, these people have used a comparison photo to sell their product. This is a store called Upon a Fold. They're one of my favourite stores. This is a, a lady called Justine runs this and. If you're ever looking for a gift, a little paper gift to give some, someone, uh, Justine ships all around the world and it's an absolutely brilliant store, but I love the photography. So this is a particular product. You buy these little wish boats, for example, but look at how Justine has styled the images. So she's actually gone to an enormous amount of effort to show them in situ. Uh, here's a very cute little idea. You could use those boats for jelly beans at a party. 
Uh, here's how the product actually comes. So when you buy it, this is how it appears. And again, this is uh, just put on a map. So a little bit of creative thinking and uh, it really sells a story. So you can see that uh, Justine's uh, images are the focal point for her store. And so she's gone to a lot of effort to style them beautifully and creatively. And so that will be helping her to sell more product. This is another idea you can use, um, particularly if it's a manufactured piece or if you've got, um, if you've got uh, an establishment, if you've got you know, something of considerable uh, investment, you've got a warehouse. It's good to show people where the product comes from. So you can see here, these guys are selling sofas and they've got the standard product photos here. But have a look at this. They also show you, this is a really nice image with a bit of text over the top that just says built in our Los Angeles factory. And this says uh, Victoria Richter and our 20,000 square foot showroom. So they're showing you that they are an established business um, and they're not like fly by night. It's not just shipped out from some dodgy factory in China, for example. It's actually, um, for these guys, made in the country of origin where most of their customers are. So they're supporting local. And they're just showing you that they're an established store with a reputation. So again, the photos of the actual products, I mean, these aren't fantastic photos of themselves, but they give the customer a story and they lend credibility. Okay, last example here. Um, if you've got a product that doesn't have a lot of detail or is very flat looking, what you can do, again, this is just being a little bit more creative, is you can pair it with the background. So see this background that they've used? It's a very colourful background, but it has a repetition. Uh, it has a, a pattern in the background. It's just stripes of colour, really. And so what they've done is they've juxtaposed this black, flat, kind of boring looking product. It doesn't have any detail to it. There's nothing that looks exciting about that product. And they've juxtaposed it with this fantastic background. So think about your backgrounds as well. If you don't have a product that uh, lends itself to uh, actual detail in the craftsmanship of that product, think about the backgrounds that you use. So we've got, uh, over at Small Revolution, we've got uh, a whole bunch of guides. One of them is a do-it-yourself uh, photo studio. We show you how to create your own photo studio. And the other guides we've got uh, will teach you about photography and show you more examples exactly like this and give you more examples for how to do your own photos and make them really stand out and uh, sell more to your customers. So you can head over to smallrevolution.com if you're interested. Okay, thank you.